Hello, what's today? Thursday, happy Thursday. <laughs> My name is Michelle, this is Abby. And today uh, we are going to be working on some loose leash walking and I'm going to be introducing the heel. So to start this off, I'm gonna talk about criteria. The criteria for the heel is for her to be in the position by my left or right leg, giving me attention pretty much um, occasionally. As long as she stays in position and is glancing up into me occasionally, we are good to go. So that is the criteria for heel. So in the beginning, I'm going to be working on, you know, loose leash walking. We're gonna play the, the I don't know what I'm gonna call this game, but basically follow the leash game. <laughs> and I'll show that to you guys. And then once we are having fun with that, she's having a bit of a success, I'm going to introduce the heel. So for the heel, I might train it off leash. And I have this little treat pouch thing. I think it's a cat treat thing, but she likes it a lot. So that's the reward. It's a high value reward. It's going to encourage her to be in the position. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video um, for the game. The, what is it follow the leash game i just have her regular treats and then i'm gonna take her off leash and work on the heel position so the reason why i'm gonna train the heel position off leash at first is because i'm just getting her used to being in the right position and holding the position for short amount of time and honestly it's really hard to manage a leash treat her and make sure she's in the right position all at once so once she's good at being in the position, then I'll introduce the leash. But for right now, we're gonna do it without the leash. Okay. <laughs> All right, see you soon. See you. So the follow the leash game is basically a game teaching the dog that the leash is a guide. Anytime there's any pressure on the leash coming towards my direction, she's supposed to follow the leash towards me and get a reward. So this is what we're doing here. I'm trying to be a little erratic because she's pretty good at this game now. Anytime there's any pressure on the leash, she just picks up and looks at me and then follows me until she gets close and then she gets a reward. So that's the game we're going to play here before we move on to the next step. Yeah, so we saw a lot of success with that. Um, I just basically added a little pressure to the leash and her, when she feels pressure on her neck, she follows the leash to me to get a reward. That was the game. Um, she did really well, really, really well. I was not expecting her to do that well. So tells me she's ready for the next step and I'll show you guys how I train that. So before I start, let's see. Here's the treats. I'm gonna open it. <laughs> that was gross. Anyways, so I have the treat pouch and basically I'm just going to like, let it go out just a little bit so she can lick it. What this does is it allows her to be in the right position. Pop up. From the seam, I'm treating from the seam. Yes, good girl, good girl, yes, let's go, yes, good. So it gives, keeps her in the right position when we are walking. So I'm going to show you guys that and uh, yeah, okay. So this is the first time we are working on this position. Um, so for this session, I'm going to be having a very high rate of reinforcement. Basically, we're going to be 
having a very consistent rate of reinforcement she's going to be licking on the treat pouch for the majority of this session basically just increasing the probability that she will stay in that position as she gets better at this i'm going to decrease the rate of reinforcement just make sure that she is in the position bridge or say yes when she's in the correct position and when she's giving me eye contact and then try to lessen the time that i have to have the treat pouch in the position for her to be in the correct position. So that was our first run. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> she did a little jumping here and there, but that's okay. She, was, she wasn't she was used to eating from this treat. So she was getting excited, hopping up and down, trying to get to the treat. But you know, she worked through that. We worked through that. That session was pretty short. I stopped it when I realized she was distracted. We had some people in the wood line over there and she was like, what are those things? So she set her up for success. I stopped the session and uh, yeah, I released her. So this time, I'm going to try to lessen the amount of time I'm giving her the treat. So the first session, I pretty much was feeding her the whole time in that position, removed it up above her nose, and she popped into the sit and gave her an additional treat. Additional treat. So we're gonna try again, and I'm gonna try to lessen the, um, the what is it? rate of reward. That's what it is. <laughs> Lower the rate of reward. And she, she still kind of gives me the attention that I'm asking for. Um, I had been adding the heel cue, but I'm not going to add it just yet because her her behavior is not concrete yet. You don't want to add the the cue until you're about 90, 80% sure that the dog is going to respond correctly. So here we go, next session. So you're going to see me tap my side of my leg and then lure her into the right position. That's the non-verbal cue that I'm going to use for the heel. So you can do that in the beginning, especially if you're luring them into the behavior, because the behavior is pretty much, you're, you're controlling the behavior at that point. So here, um, I'm pulling the treat or reward away a lot more often. The first set, I kept kind of kept the reward there um, for a longer time. Here she's distracted again. We have these people in the wood line distracting her. So we're gonna try to work through this, but, um, yeah, she's pretty distracted right now, not listening to me. <laughs> so we're going to try this angle right now so you can see what I'm marking. When I say her mark cue is because she's giving me eye contact and walking. So let's see if I can maneuver the treats, the dog, and the phone at the same time. Okay, so I hope you guys were able to see that. So she looked up at my face, at my eye contact. She gave, she got the yes or the the bridge to let her know that that's what I want. Um, it's pretty distracting out here right now, so we're gonna call that the training session for today. Good girl. But she did pretty well for her first time. We did a little leash game, and then. We did some heel practice and I'm not adding the cue yet, but I'm just getting her in the position, standing next to me, walking next to me, looking at me. And uh, yeah, she did pretty well. So when would I use the heel? I would not have my dog in a heel on our normal walks. Um, the walks are supposed to be enjoyable for both of us. So she's free to sniff around, walk around, 
However, if we we're walking through a crowd, if we we're walking through a busy street in a, um, in a, what is it called? In a store, someplace where I wanted to be close to me, then yeah, I would put her into the heel and ask her to look at me and walk close to me while it's in a less un less safe environment so i hope you guys enjoyed this video we will have a part two to the heel to give you guys an update on this behavior but just wanted to show you guys how i um, initially started to train the heel and the cute little leash game that we play anytime we get on the leash just to make sure we understand what pressure on the leash means it means come back into the leash and not fight against it anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video we'll see you next time <laughs>